Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different and showing you a new speed recorder that I found that's really good for recording your gameplay or anything that you want. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Mondays 5pm East. But yeah, this software I left out on my best clipping software video, so I'm making a whole one on it. To get it, I'll have the link to it in the description below. But once you have it, you just want to double click on it. And it should be already set up and easy to use from here. So once you open it up, you'll see a whole dashed orange box around your entire screen. This basically tells you the space that it's recording. On the top left, you'll see a little taskbar and you'll see a width and a height. That's basically just the dimensions of your recording. You can choose to select a region with this button. You can also choose to take a screenshot by clicking this or clicking F11 on your keyboard. And you can start or stop the recording from up here too. This is when you're on the full screen mode. You also have the option to choose a region that you want to record. So if I want to record the top right of my screen, I could click either region button, the one right here on the top left, and then I could drag whatever region I want to record and select it. I can also adjust it accordingly so I can make sure it fits perfectly. If I want to record the top left of my corner instead, I could just move it to the top left and it'll do that. If I also want to record a specific screen or window, so say I have a game open and I only want to record that, which is really recommended. You don't want to be using full screen if you're recording gameplay, you would want to use window mode. So you would click window right here, click OK, and then select the game. Say Discord was my game, I would select the Discord window right here and then click OK. And then if I were to click record, it would only record that. This is basically the equivalent of game capture on you know, some other recording softwares. The program does have a lot of useful features too, like the watermark option right here. If I want to add a watermark, I could click add, and then I can add a picture watermark if I want, or I can add a text watermark. If I want to add a text one, I'll click add right here. I could just switch the name to Ansel, and then adjust it to the top right corner of my screen. I can switch the font size, color, and everything. Click save and apply. Oh, I can also add a background and outline too. Click save and apply and I'll add it right there for whenever I'm recording. It's pretty useful if you don't want to get your recording stolen. I had a guy the other day who stole a bunch of my videos and just uploaded it on his channel. I had to go through a whole copyright infringement process which worked but took a while so if I want to avoid that and just make sure that the people know it's my recording I could just create my own watermark if I want. The software does come with a lot of compatibility and convenience options as well. If I want to split the recording so when it reaches a certain amount of time it just starts a whole other one, I could do so by just clicking the auto split option right here, checking this box and choosing the amount of time I want. I can also do it when it reaches a certain file size so say like I'm using Mediafire or something and it has a certain file size limit of 200 megabits. I could basically just have it auto split the recording so I don't have to go in and split it myself in order to get the file size under the amount so I can send it to whoever I want. So it's a pretty useful option if you can or I have to use it. There's also an auto stop option so instead of splitting the recording and having it continue you can have it just stop the recording when it reaches a certain file size or recording time. This just helps you make sure that you're not going over whatever time you want to record. And you can also choose to like either just have the recording stopped and nothing after or have your PC sleep, shut down, or just exit, which is pretty useful if you're recording time lapses or benchmarks. One weird thing about this program too is it has its own task scheduler, so in case you do a lot of automation, you can just create your own tasks for when you want a recording to start and finish and have it be done automatically for you. So say I'm doing it for benchmarking. And I want my PC to record a certain benchmark as soon as it runs or as soon as it opens up a certain software. I can set that right here. I can set a start time, stop time, or just manually stop it. I can make it record a certain screen or the entire screen if I want. Switch to audio, choose if I want a webcam, and a whole bunch of other things. If you are going to use the advanced, no, enhanced mode, make sure you click the black screen fixed right here because sometimes they have an issue with the encryption and you'll get a black screen and that's a pretty useful thing in case you do a lot of automation on your PC. The program also has these two cool AI features so you would have to go over to system sound or microphone click advanced options 
and say your microphone is sounding really quiet you can click the microphone boost option right here and this will basically just boost your microphone volume you can also have microphone noise reduction so say you have a lot of background noise you can just click on this and it'll reduce all of that noise for you in these two sections right here you have the audio this basically just shows you the audio that's going to be in your recording so currently how i'm talking right now you'll see audio in the microphone section and the system sound is currently quiet because i don't have any video or any gameplay going on but if i did then you would see audio in here in the game section right here this is practically the same thing as the window recording but it makes more sense to use this if you're playing a game you would just click select game right here and then choose the game either through the window or the process and then click record if you want to do that you also have a webcam section right here which i currently can't show off because i don't have a webcam but in here you can have a bunch of cool features like switching your background removing a background or even having a green screen and it works way better than the zoom and google meets options if you ever used those before because this one actually uses ai to do it but the main reason why i decided to show this program off is because if you go to the bottom right right here you can see all the pictures that you took screen recordings or screenshots and you could directly edit them from here which you can't really do in other softwares on like metal which is really trash because it hinders your performance but you can do it directly through here without having those performance issues as for the settings of the program you just want to click this button up here you can choose the file path of where you want to record so say i want to switch it to my desktop i'll click this button on the right click my desktop and then click select folder you can also click this button to take you directly to where your recordings are going to be located. For video, you can choose the format. The best format is MP4, so just keep it at that. The quality, the standard is basically the lowest quality. High is the default and original is the highest you can get. Just note, your recording performance might not be that well if you're to use original, but it will be the best with standard, so it depends on what type of configuration you want. You can also record in 144 or 120 FPS, which is pretty cool. I know some softwares limit you and it's pretty hard to record in higher frame rates like OBS, but in here you could choose 144 or 120 really easily. Frame rate mode, you want to use constant frame rate. Sometimes you could get away with a variable frame rate, but it's not really that good for quality at all, so I want to use it. But if you really have to use it due to performance, then go for it. You can also choose to save an extra audio file, so if you want a separate audio file, you can do that and choose whatever you want it to be. If you were to do that, and because you want to edit the audio for whatever recording you have, choose MP3 or WAV, it's the easiest to use. Audio, you want to use MP3 or WAV, like I said, bitrate, keep it on 128. The higher bitrate you go, the more sharper but choppier it would be. For sampling rate, 44.1K is pretty much the most safest option you can use in terms of performance it's not going to hinder it too much this is what i would use for performance but if you want to make sure you have good quality and sharp and crisp audio then go for 48,000. in here you have a whole bunch of other options as well these are just personal preference you would want to keep enable gpu hardware acceleration enabled as well for performance hotkeys you can do that as well mouse which is this is actually a pretty cool option you can choose if you were to click if you can have a little like shock wave come in the background so people can see what you're clicking you can also add a highlight effect which just shows you where your mouse is currently located in here you also have game overlays so if you are using a game capture you can see your frame rate remaining storage recording duration and all of that which is pretty cool and then in here you can choose to have it launch at startup or not i recommend you just keep this off because it's pretty annoying to have it at startup but you would want to make sure always run as administrator is on and as for the more section right here you would want to keep it to exit program as minimize the system tray is also pretty annoying that's pretty much it for the software i'll have a link to it in the description below again you can also join my discord server which will be linked there as well and you can give me any content suggestions if you want to learn about more softwares like this just let me know and i can make them if you also have any tweaking suggestions as well on or any videos that you would like to see then let me know on my discord server again and i could tailor my videos toward that but yeah see you in the next one